on YouTube and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. Today I want to share with you guys another great product for your home and that is one of these, uh, what I consider smart, it's not really smart, but um, it's a, a solar powered LED lighting solution. So this is fantastic because not only do you get a, um, a very small LED in this, so if you're looking to add some light to an area, uh, some security lighting, and you guys know I've talked about that many times in my videos about having light, layering your security, having things like alarms, smart home tech, lighting on lights, uh, motion detection, you know, stuff to just prevent somebody from possibly snooping on your property or doing something wrong. Um, also, it's a safety thing too. If you live in an area where you have absolutely no light, uh, maybe, you have a, uh, maybe you have a shop or you have a barn or whatever, and you really can't add any kind of, uh, or you don't want to go through the expense of, uh, you know, running power lines to the ground or whatever, maybe your, your particular situation doesn't have electricity, this is a great option. Solar lights have come a long way. You know, it's not like back in the day when they first came out and they needed a lot of direct sunlight. They've gotten a lot better at, um, at being able to be efficient with the light that they do receive from the solar panel. What I love about these is that a lot of times when you get these solar lights, they have a lot of LEDs. So it's like more bang for your buck, more, 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 right? Bigger is better. Well, you may have an area where you want to have just a little bit of light without blinding maybe your neighbor or maybe not blinding the whole area, right? So this is going to be a perfect addition uh, in a few areas of my area, my backyard, but also my parents' house have um, on one of their side on the side of the house they have an area where they don't get any sun at all. I mean, it's just the way the house is positioned, and everybody's house is going to have some area where you get zero sunlight. Now, the good news is that a lot of these solar lights will will charge off ambient sun. Uh, if I'm saying that correctly, where you don't need direct sunlight, but a lot of them don't. And so what's nice about this is that you get a separate solar panel. So a uh, cool thing about it too is that it's not a little tiny solar panel. It's a decent size, and the larger the solar panel, the more efficient it is at, at, at uh, converting solar energy into stored energy in the battery pack. You get a really long cord on this, and I think, let me just see what they have listed here on the Amazon listing. You guys know I always recommend you click the link and check out uh, the listing itself to read more, just in case I make a mistake. Uh, you have a 22 milliamp battery, which is pretty large. It's like the size of a lot of cell phones. It's 3.7 volts, and you have a three meter uh, cord, so which says six feet, six foot ten inches. So uh, not a huge cord, but the nice thing about this as well is that if you have an area where you need a longer cord for this, because let's face it, uh, six feet is not very far if you're going to be mounting this. Um, you know, depending on where you're going to be mounting this, of course. For instance, where I'm going to be mounting this, um, if I want to put this up high enough and be able to hide the cord neatly and discreetly, uh, six feet is not enough. But what you can do is, and I'll put a link in the description, what I do a lot of devices that have uh, either a micro USB or a, a uh, cord connection like this, which is like, I believe this is like your standard 12 volt um, uh, male connection. And there are different sizes, of course, based on voltage. You can get adapters for these. They're not adapters, but extensions where you can add up to you know 10 to 20 feet, whatever you want. I don't know the maximum distance, but um, you can actually you know add some cord to this, which is which is great if you're going to buy these. It's really only about 10 bucks to do that. It's better to have more cord than than not. Uh, it would be nice if they added maybe a 20 foot cord on this, but a lot of them honestly are going to give you about 10 feet or less. Either way, it's still great to be able to mount this somewhere where you're going to get direct sunlight. For instance, on my folks' house. We're going to mount this. I'm going to mount this towards the front of the house, uh, which is towards the west. Uh, so you're going to get a lot of direct sunlight through half of the day, of course. And then the light is going to be mounted on, uh, what would that be, the, the north side of the house, where it doesn't get any sunlight um, or very little. So uh, that would be fantastic to be able to mount this. And the cord is nice and small that you can easily tack this with, uh, with some, um, uh, I usually use like some of the U staples in one of your just standard staple guns. Uh, you can tuck this away, hide it, and it'll it'll look great. Uh, one thing I like to do with stuff like this too is, depending on where you're gonna be mounting this, of course you're not gonna be able to paint the solar panel. You need uh, that to absorb the light, but all the plastic stuff you can mask this off and paint it white. Which is something I like to do to kind of make this stuff blend in a little more. Pretty cool with this here too. If you were to go ahead and paint everything that's black on this white, um, you're not really gonna have something really standing out. So just something to keep in mind. I wish that companies, most of the companies who make stuff like this, for whatever reason or another, they all make them in black. And I don't know why more companies don't make these in white plastic. Because if you look at people's homes, most people's homes have white trim. That's kind of like the, 
I mean, you, I'm not saying you're not going to find houses with different color trim, but when I look around in most of my town, you're going to have white trim. Now, black will blend into areas where obviously if you're going to put this in a tree or if you're going to put this somewhere that's darker, but most of the time this is going to go on somebody's house. So, uh, word to the wise with the company, if they make these again, uh, or maybe they're coming out with a modern, a, a newer version of these, uh, that's what's great about working with YouTube influencers to send this stuff out for product testing is that you get, you know, the, you get people's opinions and for people who actually own a home or, or, you know, I mean, I guess if you're, if you're living somewhere where cosmetics aren't really too much of a concern to you, if you're in an apartment somewhere or, or whatnot, and you, you're not really, again, too concerned with the cosmetics, it's not going to be a big deal to you. But for me, I like things that are kind of, um, uh, like utilities and things that are more, uh, practical as far as uh, not for decoration, you know, things that are, are meant for purpose. You know, these aren't really, in my opinion, these aren't, this isn't something that looks pretty, you know what I mean? So it would be really nice to have this blend in more. Uh, and again, what I'll probably do is take this apart, paint it white, and these will blend in perfectly where you won't even notice them. Uh, think about it, when you go looking at most outdoor lights that you're going to hardwire or, you know, hardwire uh, floodlights, most of those are white, you know? So it just makes sense to have these be white as well, but again, very easy to paint these. And you don't have to be, you know, you don't have to take the whole thing apart. Put a little masking tape on it. Be gentle with, a, with some white matte paint. Uh, it goes on really easy. And anybody, any do-it-yourselfer can go ahead and, and throw a coat of paint on this. But overall, it's a great device. Cool thing about it, too, I like the fact that they put um, this quick connection or this mail connection. I've seen some of these that are actually hardwired uh, where you can't remove this. So if you had to take this down for whatever reason, uh, you would actually have to take down the solar panel and everything. Uh, this, just a quick connect. So if you did run into a problem down the road, something fails, you need to change the battery out on these. So, you know, it does, things do happen. Uh, very easy to take this down. Uh, you don't actually screw this in. You have, actually have a couple tabs on the back. You just pop this right into the two screws. It does come with your sheetrock anchors. Why they give you sheetrock anchors, I don't know. Uh, a lot of these things do come with sheetrock anchors. You're not really going to put this inside. But keep this in mind too. Another option for for you, uh, because this cord is so small, this is something that if you want to put this in your garage, you could very easily mount this inside your house or inside your garage somewhere, and then just snake the line out your weather stripping. It's not really going to cause any kind of real insulation problems or pest problems. Uh, the cord is so small, you can do that, no worry. So it's a very easy way to add uh, some backup lighting in your garage or shed. Uh, without, again, having to hardwire anything. I'm going to be putting in a shed in my backyard uh, probably this summer. Not a huge shed, but uh, just something for, you know, outdoor stuff. Maybe a bike or some tools or whatever, or, or some gardening supplies. And so I'm not going to be able to put, uh, without running a line, 12 volt, or not 12 volt power, uh, 120, a 120 line in there for standard lights. So what I'm going to do is probably use a couple of these, mount the solar panels outside, snake the line inside the shed, and now you have... Uh, some reliable motion sensor LED lighting. So check it out, guys. Link is in the description. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always here to help you guys. If you like the content, do subscribe to the channel. As always, guys, have a great day and take care.